Hey you guys, what's up? It's Ben and today we're going to be learning how to install Siri on non-Siri devices. Now with this you're going to need a jailbreak. I'm on iOS 5.0.1 with the Red Snow Untethered Jailbreak for the iPod. And um, basically what you're going to have to do is go to Cydia. You're going to have again have to have a jailbreak to install Siri on your non-Siri device and you don't need a package or anything you're just going to go to search and it's through an application name of Spire which is spelled S-P-I-R-E and I already have it installed it's right there it's called Spire and you're just going to have to install this real quick so you're going to go up to the top right corner click that and install I think you guys know how to do that already I've already installed it to my device Spire will require a reboot and you may need to boot tethered again if you're on tethered jailbreak you will need to boot tethered somehow and so once you have installed this if you're on the red snow on tethered jailbreak you're gonna have to reboot real quick and it's gonna be as simple as that you're going to have to go to your settings menu and then you will go ignore this you'll go up to general and then you'll see Siri, which probably shouldn't have been there before, and then you'll see Siri. You can turn it'll be off at first. Just turn it on. Simple as that. And again, I forgot to mention this. This will work for your iPod Touch fourth generation, iPhone four, iPad two, and any other devices that have a microphone basically in them. Not like the iPod Touch 3 because it doesn't have a microphone. Unless you have the headset of the microphone, it might be able to work, I'm pretty sure. But once you turn Siri on just like that, you go back and down below you will see Spire. Now this is the part where it kind of gets a little confusing because the problem is, as of today, January 1st, 2012, you will not be able to connect to Siri. I know it seems like a huge disappointment, but Siri will not connect. It will show up, but it will not connect. So we are looking for a proxy host, and you can search it up on Google, Pro Siri proxy host, and there is a few I know. They're overloaded. You might be able to connect to them, but uh, you will need a proxy host, and I can't really tell you how to find one except Google. I've been Googling, trying to find one. I haven't really found one yet, but I will keep looking, so... If you guys do find a proxy host, please leave it in the comments below. So I'm really sorry about this, but you're going to have to find a way to use a proxy host. You can also create a proxy host, I know. You can search that up on Google, too, about how to make Siri proxy host. But when you find that, you just enter it in. But right now, we can act. We do actually have Siri on. As you see, when we hold down the home button, Siri will pop up. But whenever we try to ask a question... We can't even ask a question because I don't think it's going to work because I didn't even enter a proxy host. But when you do try it, it'll say, I'm sorry, I cannot connect unless you find a correct proxy host. But that's really it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel again because it really helps. And for all of you that already are subscribed, you're super awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.